of you we're back we our vip prime network we are back in business i am so excited about what god is about to do and i want to tell you that god got something great in store for us for all of the partners down there if you on if you're on youtube if you're on facebook i want you to say i'm here I'm here. We're going to get ready in just a few minutes. We're waiting for more people to come in. But if you're just coming in, get your coffee, get your Bibles, get your papers. But most of all, get your brain because we're talking about our part two. What happens when the brain prays? Amen. Somebody says, I'm here. God bless you, Sister Lori. We miss you at church. It's nothing like the Taylor's presence to be there. I'm telling you, thank you so much. Come on, get your coffee, get your, your Pepsi, whatever it is. I do want you to get your notes down because we got something great God is about to do. People are coming on as you, as you come on, just tag down in the comments, I'm here, I'm here. We want to begin to say something to you that is powerful, say something to you that you did not know about your brain. I'm telling you, when me studying about this brain, y'all, uh, man, I'm telling you, this is just something awesome that um, about our brain and how God wired our brain. We're going to get ready to pray. Eternal and all wise God, the heavenly father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you and we give you glory. We ask you, dear Lord God, to teach us as our brain prays that father God, in the name of Jesus, teach us the strategies of the brain so that we, dear heavenly father, will be able to allow our brain to pray the way that you have designed it. And God, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise for what you are doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As people are coming in, God bless you. I got my bishop friend on, Bishop Davis. God bless you, sir. Thank you all so, so much. I want to know if you can hear me, just type down in the chat, I can hear you. I want to make sure that we don't have any interference tonight. Amen. I want to act, take you to don't forget to just take a moment and follow us on VIP Prayer Network on Facebook, y'all, and it also on YouTube. 24-7, you will be able to go on YouTube or Facebook and begin to go by the lesson. We also have 530 prayer. As the tickler is coming across, you can put that down, 530. You can meet us on the prayer line. If you say, hey, I cannot here, I cannot make it on the prayer line, then I, what I want you to do is go into the VIP prayer network, put down your prayer requests, or you can always inbox Dr. Lori McKinney, 530 every morning. We will make sure that we are lifting you up in prayer. Well, we're on series two tonight. If you did not go to series one, you want to go back on the VIP prayer network and kind of look at part one of what happens to with the brain prayer. We're on tonight, part series two, what happened when the brain prays. This is the, the thalucus, the thalucus. I'm sorry about that. This part of the brain, and people have different terminologies of how they um, say it, the thalamus. I'm sorry, thank you. I do have my media department here. Uh, my grandson, he's my media. He wants to make sure the words are pronounced right. So um, he's helping me as well. When we get ready with our pen and paper, I'm going to be putting a few things up there um, so that we can understand. So if you have your pen and paper, I will be putting it up there 
what this is. The um the thalamus, it is it is the um central part of the brain. Um is the Greek word for courtyard or an entrance road to a building. It's also and it has um acts as a um, relay system that sorts processes, direction, and initial signature. Now I'm going to kind of go over that. Your thalamus is the body information. It's a relay system. All information from the body senses, um, uh, excluding your, your smell, we're talking about the five senses, excluding your cell, must be processed through the thalamus before sending to your brain um, the cerebral uh, com context for interpretation. Your thalamus also plays a role while you're sleeping, while you're awake, while you're conscious, why y'all learn, why we're learning y'all, and also for memory. Now, your thalamus is it's an egg-shaped structure that's in the middle of your brain, right? Um, is known as, again, a relay station. You're going to hear me keep saying that because this is where all incoming motion and movements um, and your central information comes through, your hearing, your taste, your sight, and also your touch. Remember, it's not your smell. From your body to your brain. It's like a relay or like a train station. That, you know, that train station goes back and forth that passes through the thalamus. Um, it becomes routes and it directs itself to the destiny of what you of the destiny of where your brain is picking up information. So it's very important for you to understand what's traveling through your brain. And and when I was beginning to um look um to um today and well last week um we went to my brother's um uh, brother law's funeral and I want to thank each and every one of you all. That's why last week we wasn't on. We was traveling out of town. My brother my um, husband's brother had passed. And I want to thank y'all so much, partners, um, that went back and um, prayed for us and also went back to watch part one. While we were in the funeral, y'all, and this goes on with the lesson, it was a funeral, but through my mind, my mind was picking up things that, um, things that I could hear, things that I can see, all of my senses were, they were very sensitive um, because of the, the funeral and also it put me in a different environment when family died. So I had to kind of make sure all that information was just traveling through my brain, the times I met him, what I knew about him, what family members had said about him, all of these things. And so your brain, your brain is constantly picking up information without you having to even think about what is your brain thinking about? Isn't that powerful how God did that? How your brain can begin to pick up information without you even knowing that your brain is really is really um, functioning like that. And so as we begin to um, look at some things, we're beginning to we're going to begin to see tonight how that um, thalamus system really and truly um, works. Now, it is. We got to, um, the scripture begins to let us know and Psalms 104, you all know that. And with a pillar of cloud, ye laid them by night and with a pillar of fire by, I mean, I'm sorry, led them by day and with a pillar of fire by night to light from them the way in which they are to go. And you see in the scripture where God allowed this to happen. By day, there was there was a cloud. So there was a pillar of cloud during the daytime that led the children of God and their, their sight, their senses, all of that except their smell. They didn't need to smell anything. But their, their other senses was heightened because the cloud during the daytime guided them where God wanted. And so when the nighttime came, then there it turned into a fire and the fire began to guide them 
where they were going. And so God began to speak to their brain, of which we talked about, this is the thalamus system. He began to speak to their brain and began to transport them from one place to another where God want them to go. And this is what God want us to do today. He want us to allow the thalamus system in our brain that the Holy Spirit, not us, but that the Holy Spirit guide us the way that God wants us to go in and, and where God wants us to take you. And so it's very important that we as children of God begin to, um, allow the thalamus system that even when we're praying and even when we're laying down and even when we're sleeping, that that thalamus system is trained, is, is trained that the Holy Ghost begin to input with inside of us. And I'm telling you that something is great here because uh, I want to begin to talk to us about something that we need to pray. We need to ask God, you are our creator and our commander, our, our commanding station. That's what he is. That sits in the top of our uh, of the sits in the top of our brain. And it is God that leads us and it's God that speaks to us. And it is God that de decrees to us. And it is God that leads us out of our fears. When, when things begin to come up, the thalamus system begins to um, uh, transport us into a place with God um, where we need to be. Now, this doesn't come easy. This comes through us allowing God to shift some things in our brain. Make sense? And, 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 um, and what I want to begin to tell you is that we got to have God shift some things in our brains, shift some things in our emotions. So much that Nehemiah said, but he says that, I'm going to read the scripture here. He says in, um, I think I already switched it to Nehemiah 9. It says, by day you led them again with the pillar of cloud and by night you led them with a pillar of fire to give them light on which the way that they should take. So God, this is very important to God. He said in the Psalms 104, and then he said it's in Nehemiah um, 9 and 2. So when God begins to say something more than one time, then what God is trying to say to us is that I want you to allow me to guide you in the way that you should go. So when you begin to, um, this is VIP Prayer Network. So when you begin to pray, you need to ask God this. You are the maker of my thalamus system. You got to tell him. This is your morning prayer that you should say. Now, as your thalamus system um, sends its messages or other parts of the brain, glory to God, for processing, you need to say, Lord, I know that Lori, I'm just using me, brain, is the, is the pathway which responds that are not anything that's not like you, my brain system will not respond. Now, I'm, I'm doing this as a, a way of what we need to pray. And so we need to say, let me react in the low road. The low road which is the, the, um, the Amadar we talked about last week. There's a high road and then there's a low road because that deals with your emotions. And so you need to say, God, let my mind take the low road, which means when fear comes up, when anxiety comes up, when frustration comes up, I don't react in a high road way that intensified my fear because you say as God has not given me the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. So in the morning, your prayer needs to be, Lord, train my the, my um my the thalamus system that I will not receive things that come up that are high road that will cause me to operate in fear for the rest of my day. Because you can go to bed and get up and fear have already sat on you and you you don't went to bed with nothing on your mind. Why? 
because while you were sleeping, that Amatar, if it had not been trained, and the Amatar, that's why I say you got to go back to part one. It talks about the high road. That's where your fears and frustration, that's your flight road that God has given us there. It, it helps us to be alert when something's happened. But you got to be careful with that because the enemy will use circumstances and situations to cause you to react to something that you should not be fearing that about. Because that's why the word of God tells us to cast down every vain imagination that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. So what you need to do, it says, um, at every morning, you need to start your day, make this day be, uh, make this day, God, allow my day, this is where you're going to pray, that right, I react mm, not by fear, not by anger, not by anxiety, but that God, I will react in a way because I'm a, I don't want information to be transported in my mind that will manipulate me for the day. Woo, that's powerful right there. Because your conscious, um, your stuff in your subconscious sometimes can come to your conscious and it can flip sometimes and it can give information distorted. And you can cause your whole day to go in a in a in a um a wrong way. It can be full of emotions, full of fear, full of anger, full of um filled with frustration. Why? Because while you was Pray while you were laying down sleeping, you have not allowed God to train your mind to pray. And this is what this series is about. It's about God, while I'm sleeping, during the daytime, I have I've been doing my affirmation. I have been exercising my faith. So when I'm laying down, you are training my mind in my sleep. So when I get up, God, I'm already prepared for what God wants me to do for the day. So while I'm laying down, I am saying, God, my frontal local system, I needed to be healed in Jesus' name. My frontal local system, which is your psyche, God, I need you to plan it that not just for what I'm going to do today, but declare what I'm going to do in the future. You see what I'm saying? When you begin to declare it out of your mouth, then this is what happens. Faith without works is dead. It is impossible to please God if we don't have faith. And so, God, I want you to train my thalamus system, which is uh, the pathway, the train that's going back and forth. It, it, it is that system that's going back and forth. God, I need you to train that so that I will be able to move in a way that you want me to move in. Let me tell you how the thalamus system works. It's an information system that travels through the nervous, the nerve fibers from your body through your brain that structures to your thalamus. It specialized areas of your, of your uh, thalamus system deals with motion impulse. You got to be careful how you respond to stuff when things happen. Here is an example. We all can be on the same job and they say, okay, I'm, everybody's about to get fired. Some people would be calm. Some people would just go off and just have a nervous breakdown. Some people will start worrying about how they're going to pay their bill. Some people will start declaring negativeness over their life. My life's get ready to get put out, um, turned off. They get ready to repossess my car. You Why is that? All of us had the same information going through our thalamus system, but some people take the high road of fear and then some people take the low road. Train your emotions how to take the low road. Why, why am I saying to take the low road? That I may be able to be able to not to respond to my emotions Lord, teach me how to respond to what the word of God says. What is that that you're saying? Psalms 17 and, and 5 says, as for me, I will see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake in your 
likeness. When I awake in God's likeness, when I awake and my mind has been trained on Jesus, I went to sleep with my mind on the Lord. And I recommend you that, that seven minutes before you go to sleep, that you make sure that you turn off the TV, you make sure that you pray, you make sure that you tell your mind affirmations according to the word. So when you lay down, seven is for completion. When you lay down, your mind will meditate on those scriptures, on those words, on those affirmations. What And then what does the word say? I shall be satisfied when I awaken. So when I wake up, what am I doing? I My mind will be in his likeness. Woo! That's powerful right there. My mind will not be in my likeness. My mind will be in God's likeness because seven minutes before I went to sleep, I had my mind stayed on Jesus. And what happens is while you're sleeping, that remember I told you that thalassment system is like a train system. So everything that is not like God, the word is start bumping up against the word of God. And when it starts bumping up against the word of God is start deleting all of those negative things. Why? Because the word says, cast down every vain imagination that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Then the word of God start working and the word of God start moving and the word of God start shifting things in your, in your mind, things that have came up against you during the day, stuff that have been spoken to you, to you through the phone ways, scenes that you have seen with your eyes through the internet. Are you hearing me today? Things that people have spoken out of your mouth. When you put the word of God on that, when you go to sleep, your brain starts fighting against everything that was not like God. And then you line up in the word of God and Psalm 1715 that I will be satisfied. Not satisfied, but that I shall. Shall means it's going to happen. Not that I think it's going to happen. This thing is going to happen. And what else? I shall be satisfied. Why should I be satisfied? Because I thought on the things that was pure. Think on the things that are holy. Think on the things that are just. And when you think on them things, God says, then think on me. Glory to God. I'm telling you, God is so awesome in what he's doing. And he wants us, he wants the, the, your thalamus system for you to live. Let God be the advocate. Mm. The advocate is somebody that intercedes on your behalf. God wants to be intercede on your behalf. So it is so marvelous to know that my brain is designed to work in millions of um, seconds to protect me. So today I'm going to think on Lori the thalamus pathway. What is the thalamus pathway? The word of God. I'm going to put that in my mind and when I'm when I'm laying down and in in, in my, my my what I and remember I said is everything besides what you smell. So what I see my thalamus system, I got to train it, that it got to take everything out that I seen today that was not of God. I got to train my five senses on anything that's not of God. When I'm sleeping, when I put that word of God on it, guess what happened? It breaks, it train wrecks everything that have came up against me. You got to train your thalamus system, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. The reason why you got to do it, um, your thalamus system, um, Thalamus um, is a central relay station for receiving incoming signals, okay, and motion information. Your thalamus then sends information to other parts of your brain. So if your thalamus is damaged, gosh, your money, then it can affect many functions in your life. It can affect your memory loss, you will have amnesia in the spirit. Hmm. 
You will forget what God said that he was going to do in your life. I'm going to minister to somebody right now. You, if your thalamus system is damaged, then you will forget what God said that he was going to do, which is Jeremiah 29 and 11. For the thoughts and the plans that I think towards you, they are good and not evil to give you an expected end. So if your thalamus is, is damaged in the spirit realm, then there's memory loss. Then you will forget everything that God told you from the beginning, what he was going to do in your life, how he was going to make your name great, how he was going to bless you financially. How the head and not the tail. You was above and not beneath. What happens is you will, your memory will dump out and you will lose hope. All those things that God said. So what is happening is uh, your faith is on trial. And so your faith becomes weakened. I was speaking to, talking with my armor bearer and I was saying something and I was challenging her today. I said, listen, your, your, your faith is weak. And she flew back. She, I mean, she, she swung back. She said, oh, no, my faith is not weak. I said, yes, your faith is weak. I'm not talking about your faith when God, when you were out and God gave you this or when you didn't have this and God had that. That's in the past. I'm talking about right now because what you're trying to get God to do right now is big. And so your faith is too weak for you to obtain what you want God to do right now. Woo! This right here is awesome. Thank you, son. Amen. This right here is so awesome. So don't allow the enemy to make you have memory loss in this season of what God said to you. What God said to you the first time, it's going to happen. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what other people say. I don't care if don't nobody agree with you. Don't have memory loss in this season. I want you to type as a, as a decree to yourself an affirmation to yourself that, hey, in this season, I won't have memory loss. What are you saying, Pastor? What God said to me the last time, if God don't have memory loss and you a child of God, why do you? I want you to type that in there. I won't have memory loss in this season. What happens if the thalamus system is, dang is damaged? You will have lack of interest and enthusiasm. You won't have no fire no more. All your fire will be, will be burnt out because that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to put your fire out. This is how you know your thalamus have been messed with inside of your brain. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying today? The enemy messes with that because that is your central relay system where your senses, everything besides smell. Thank you. Amen. Come on here. I love it. Y'all, y'all is putting it in there. That's what I'm talking about. Because when you decree it, then you believe it. And when you believe it, good gracious from glory, then you can obtain it. Glory to God. Now, the enemy don't want you to do your affirmations. Let me tell you about your affirmation. You set the tone for what you want to do. It's time out for waiting for somebody else to give you affirmation. You got to in this season, you got to uh, encourage your own self. David said that I'm going to encourage my own self in the Lord. We're in a season right now that folks ain't encouraging you. We're in a season right now. If you're not doing what folks want you to do, they ain't even following you. We're in a season right now. If you're not on the popular list with folks, then they're not even supporting you. Glory to God. But you you got to look at where you're going, not where you're at right now. Never make your destiny off of temporarily local folks when you're international. Woo! Glory to God. I love God today. Now, you got to not have, and how do y'all know my thalamus system has been tampered with? How do I know that my brain is not praying while I'm sleeping? Because you will start having a lack of interest and enthusiastic in what God said. Woo, my God. People's opinion of you will come more viable than what the word of God said. Mm. Here's another thing that you got to your thalamus system, how you know it's damaged. You got a loss of ability to understand what God is saying to you. Woo! That means God can use a prophet. He can use an evangelist. He can use a baby. 
and you you will you have a loss of ability to understand the language of the spirit of what God is saying to you. You cannot understand what God is saying to you without prayer. That's why this series here is very important because you got to teach your brain to pray. Now, a lot of people is not going to um, even listen to this message. You know why? There will be an attack on this message. You know why? Because it's dealing with your brain and the enemy don't want us to retrain our brain. The enemy don't want this series to get out that while you're sleeping, your brain is praying. And what happens when the brain prays? Can you think about if the whole body of Christ will get this teaching down in a spirit and we will begin to know what's going on on each side in every area of our brain, how we can tear down the demonic warfares and even in our international places. We have our international bishop up here, Bishop Davis. Um, up here, a powerful man of God. He's international strongholds. Y'all, y'all ain't dealing with no demons. This man, this man here is dealing with real demons. Real demons was when you start going international. Those are real witches and warlocks and uh and all different types of, of false doctrine and religion and, and universal and humanism. And, and I get into all of that. We're gonna be this VIP prayer network. This ain't nothing to look in your mailbox and you about to get a check. Uh-uh, it's time out for that. People are dying. People are on their way to hell. And it is time to train up the body of Christ on how to pray and strategy ways that we can we have to pray. So in order to do that, y'all, we got to take the time out, just like y'all doing, to study the word of God. Here's another part that your thalamus system is damaged, is when you have trouble paying attention. Mm. And you have lost your alertness in the spirit. Woo. I got to say that again. You got trouble paying attention to what God is saying and the word of God. And you have lost your alertness. When you lose your alertness in the spirit, then you can't hear God when he say pray. There are 15 types of intercessors and I will be, um, that's going to, I think that's going to be my next series after we finish this series. Cause everybody tell me I'm an intercessor, I'm an intercessor, I'm an intercessor. What type? And I always ask people, what type of intercessor you are? I don't know. I'm just an intercessor. That means you in regions that you ain't authorizing. Woo. My God. With the church, we, we yeah, with the church, we we really got to come up in the spirit realm. But, and here's another thing about the thalamus system: how you know it's damaged. You have trouble processing what you're hearing, what you're seeing, what you're uh, what you're tasting in the spirit realm. You have trouble with your 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 senses of information is all off. Here's another reason how, a thing how you know your thalamus system is damaged. You have impaired movement. You can't move in the spirit. You're paralyzed. The enemy can do one thing to you and you wiped out. Why? Because your, your thalamus system has been damaged. And this is the part of the brain that the enemy is attacking in the body of Christ. And that's why the mental health of ministry is not being delivered. The, your uh, prison ministries, your uh, homeless ministries, um, feeding the hungry ministries, so many different ministries are under attack because there is an impaired movement in the spirit. God Almighty. And nobody is waking up because why? We're not taking the time to pray. Well, I want to admonish you that praying early in the morning is the key to the weapons in the spirit. Jesus got up early in the morning away from the disciples and he began to pray. Here's another thing your thalamus system is damaged when you cannot sleep. 
you always restless in your spirit. Now, I'm not talking about God waking you up because he got you, he wants you to pray or there's something or trouble and you're a type of intercessor and he's calling you to a crisis intercessor. That means he called you in a time because there's a crisis in the spirit realm. I'm not talking about a warfare intercessor where God is waking you up and you got to do war in the spirit. I'm not talking about the eight prayer watches where God has assigned you to a prayer watch and you get up and you pray. I'm talking about sleeplessness because yo, yo, your train system don't have the word of God and it keeps you up because of foolishness that you have intake inside of your psyche. Mm. Here's another thing of a thousand the system. Chronic pain in the spirit. You're always open to an attack. You are easy target for the enemy. Listen, the devil ain't always after you. Let me tell you why he ain't always after you. Because you're not really doing that much in the spirit for the devil to be that much after you. If you're over there international, doing missionary work, um, um, people don't have water over there, and you you digging wells, people don't have food over there, and you are flying food in, um, people don't have the word of God over there, and then you're going over there from your comfort home, and you're going from out of your beautiful home and going over there where the people stay at who don't live like the Holiday Inn, who their bed may be the floor, it may be dust, rats may be coming in, but you're going over there to do missionary work, that's real warfare. Where you're going over there and witches and warlocks, glory to God, and voodoo doctors are following you. That's real warfare. And you're sick because you're doing ministry, because voodoo workers are trying to put some roots on you because you're there and you're tearing up ground. That's real warfare. When you're going in principalities and powers and wickedness in high places. When I used to do mission trip, came back to America, America is spoiled. America ain't seen no real demons. Go over to them foreign countries where they're not living cushion and, and things of this nature. And y'all, I'm getting ready again. With, I got a few mission things coming up, waiting on this passport. Y'all pray, 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 pray. Because you know, with this COVID, everything been backed up. But I've decreed in the atmosphere. Y'all, let me tell you how good God is. I just found out that my sister law works for the um, post office. So she is going to help me with making sure that I can get my passport expedited so that I can go forth and, and go and minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is where we need us to be. I need you as a body of Christ to start praying. I need you to start praying for our other brothers, for our other sisters that are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and they're trying to do it the best way they can, but they don't have the cameras, they don't have the resources. They Some countries, y'all, don't even have Bibles. I want to be able to send money over there so they can get Bibles translated in their own language. Glory to God. He says, if my people that are called by thy name would humble themselves and pray and seek his face and turn from our even wicked ways, then he will heal the land. I want you today, amen, I hope something I said about this Solomon system, amen, the central, this is the central part, amen, the courtyard of the entrance road to like a building. It is a central station that sorts and it processes and it directs initial signals to your brain so that me and you, while we're praying, while we're sleeping, we can hear the word of God. I hope something I said to you today encouraged you, built you up. Most of all, it took you to a higher level in the spirit that my Lord teach me for my brain to pray. That when I can be sitting there in the dark and my brain is just praying. Why? Because I've trained it with the word of God. And it automatically, 
turns on, it automatically casts down. It automatically wars against things that's trying to come in my thalamus system, that's trying to come through my senses except smell. I've trained it by the word of God that even while I'm sleeping, the devil cannot come in. And I want to pray that for you tonight. I also want to pray it for our international partners. If you all see, I'm here in the States, but my mind is international. Glory to God. And I want God to do some great things. Amen. For our international brothers and sisters that are trying to preach the gospel, trying to minister the gospel with what they have. Will you sow a seed tonight? Dollar sign, Lori McKinney. Will you cash out? Dollar sign, Lori McKinney. I want to ask you tonight to sow a $20 seed. I am trying to get money saved up so when I get ready to go, I will be able to carry resources over there. When I get over there, I can, um, you know, you have to transfer your money. But I have enough money that when I go over there, I can buy rice, I can get beans, I can get Bibles, I can get whatever is needed. I don't need no money for nothing. God is, I walk by faith and not by sight. Will you sow us a, a $20 seed as for as we getting ready for the international ministry? Again, that's dollar sign Lori McKinney. Will you be a silent partner with me today? I want to just begin to pray for you. I want to begin to pray for our other brothers and sisters, bishops, apostles that are doing the great work. You are doing a great work right where you are. To where we connect together and pray, I want you to ask God, show me about my thalamus system. When I wake up early in the morning, train my senses, except the smell, train it, God, so that as I go throughout my day, the word of God is flowing through what I speak it's flowing through what I hear. It's flowing through what I see because I'm training my thalamus system in the word of God. That's how my brain going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for every person that is hearing this, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's shared by friends, whether it's spoken in the atmosphere, God allowed this word to go around the world. God let us share it with everybody that we know, our friends, our families, people that we don't know. God allowed this word to go forth. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, allow this word to come forth, God, that we will grab it in our spirit and that God, that we will train our brain to pray. God, without prayer, God, we cannot do warfare. Without prayer, God, we cannot cast down every vain imagination. Without prayer, God, we're not able to go in the atmosphere, God, and do warfare in the spirit. Father God, we pray for every intercessor right now, or whatever level that you have our intercessors on, we pray for them right now by the power and the anointing of God. Even as you got your intercessors, your crisis intercessors are on their knees, your warfare intercessors are on their knees, your worshiper intercessors, they're on their knees, Father God. In the your financial intercessor is on their knees, God. In the Bukoleni Bahia La Bohoshe Kerara Bohora Mashea, in the Niete Rabaki La Bashea, in the name of Jesus, God, as we begin to pray, dear Lord God, and pierce the atmosphere, dear Lord God, that the word of God will go from the north, south, east, and west, God, whatever barriers are that we have in our minds, dear Lord God. We're asking you, dear Lord God, to help us. God, I need help in the name of Jesus, God. Carry us deeper in prayer, deeper to hear you, God. We're asking you, God, no, that I'm shy for our thalamus system, God, that what we see, God, we see it by the word of God. What we hear, God, we hear it by the word of God. What we speak out of our mouth and decree, God, we speak the word of God. In the name of Jesus, God, train our emotions, dear Lord God. In the name of Jesus, God, that our avatar will be on the low road, God, that we will not be gripped by fear and, and, and frustration and anger and bitterness, God, but we cast down every vain imagination that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Now, God, give us the finances that we need, that we will help those, God, that are less fortunate than us, God, that will sow a seed in the name of Jesus. God, bless each 
each and every person up here, even the ones that are about to listen to this video, God, whatever they're going through, God, we pray, dear Lord God, that you bring them out, that you touch their finances, bless their children, bless those that are incarcerated in the name of Jesus. We pray for those that are mental health um, ministries, dear Lord God. We pray for those that are locked up in the mental health, dear Lord God. Don't see no way out, God, that are in sane asylums, God. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devil. The blood of Jesus is against it. We ask you to heal those, God, who have mind problems. We ask you to heal those, God, that have, are dealing with cancer and leukemia and all different types of diseases, God. Lumps in the back, lumps in their legs, dear Lord, God. Cancer is in the name of Jesus, God. I pray for Lady Kendall, God. In Jesus' name, God, that you would heal her from the top of her head down to the soles of her feet, dear Lord God, that you would heal her miraculously in the name of Jesus. We pray, pray, God, for Bishop Davis, God, my Indian brother, dear Lord God, as he's trying to minister the gospel of Jesus Christ, God. We pray for the pastors that are hungry over there, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Break it in the atmosphere for me, dear Lord God, that I may be able to help them, God, so that the word of God will be able to go forth like never before, God. We just pray, dear Lord God, that your will be done, God. We are believing you, God. We believe in what faith, God, what you said to us the first time. And God, our Thalamus system will not be damaged. We remember what you said the first time. And God, we put it on the altar and we believe what your words say. We're not double-minded, neither are we staggering. We believe it. God, I pray in Jesus' name, God, for Todd, dear Lord God, we put him on the altar, God. God, you have healed his body from the top of his head down to the soles of his feet. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the report said. God, even what he got, he's feeling in his body. God, we're believing in the port of the Lord. You say you wish above all things that Todd prosper be in good health, even as his soul prosper. Now, God, we pray for those, God, that are dealing with ailments in their body, and we decree it, and we speak it, and we speak healing all over their bodies, and we thank you, and we praise you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you again. Thank you so much for being a part of the VIP Prayer Network. Hey, tell everybody about this video. Go back to part one. Amen. Write some things down. God got great things for you. Amen. Again, if you want to sow a seed, that's dollar sign, Lori McKinney. Dollar sign, Lori McKinney. Will somebody today sow a seed with me? Amen. I'm serious. I'm telling you, Target, right now, where I'm trying to send some money to, Bishop Davis. Amen. He is one of our Indian partners. Amen. And we're going, I know God going to give us a seed that we may be able to help him because he has 50 pastors that he's trying to get trained in the word of God. How many believe that God is going to do this? Why don't you type at the bottom? Oh, God's getting ready to do this. Amen. And if you get off here, and I know some people uh, like to be silent partners. He would say, well, Dr. McKinney, I want to do that. I don't have it right now, but I want to do that. Amen. Inbox me. Amen. So that we may be able to be a blessing. I got to get ready to do some teaching with them, but there are some things that I got to get in place. Amen. So they can have the materials and things that they need so that the gospel of Jesus Christ can go forth. I love you all. Let God use you to the glory of God. Remember, if God be for you, it's more than the whole entire, entire. When I say entire, somebody say entire. Somebody download, at, at, say at the bottom here, if God be for you, it's more than the whole world against you.